Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I'm doing more of a vlog day in the lifestyle video. You're still going to get some cleaning motivation because I have plenty to do before the 4th of July. But I kind of wanted to show some glimpses into mom life and kind of how that looks like in the afternoon. Typically I usually prefer to film in the mornings if I'm going to film but time got away from me today. So I wanted to kind of show you how life goes in my house for the afternoon to evening portion of it. Just kind of an update. I think the last time I did this with my son, he was probably one and a half, maybe two. I don't feature him as much in my videos as of late, just simply due to the fact of a lot of, you know, the negatives that can go behind showing your kids there. So he'll be featured in some of my videos, but he's not the prominent part of it. And that's just kind of my choice. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and the motivation that goes along with it. Let's get started. So my afternoons typically start a little bit after three. Um, I just spent the last hour because my son was home with me today actually doing ABC Mouse, which is a computer game. He's doing it right now on the iPad. We did it on my laptop because some features do not work on the iPad. So basically what we ended up doing was a lot of maths, um, like math games, sorting, number, shapes. And we did that for about an hour. We worked on the letter H. Logan. H says what sound? Good job. And basically he's kind of has free reign for the next 15 to 20 minutes to do his games within reason on here. There's puzzles and a whole bunch of stuff. I think it's great. I know a lot of people use this as a tool for homeschooling. So I think that's awesome. So he has some time on that. And this is usually around the time I would start on dinner. So most days when I work throughout the year, um, I try and have things prepped. Today is no exception. Don't mind the messy kitchen. This is what we're going to be kind of cleaning up after and kind of getting just reset along with a few things upstairs. Uh, but in the crock pot, I have a Weight Watchers recipe that I'm really excited for. So I think it's worth a total of four points depending on if I have like um, a cup. But it's basically going to be like um, a chicken chili essentially. So it took... Um, some salsa, some corn. I ended up substituting chicken broth in on salt and low sodium, you know, um, for instead of water, I could have just done water, but I had some chicken broth left over. I did that with a can of black beans and that's been on high for four hours because I started it a little bit late. I also seasoned my chicken just to kind of give it um, that chili flavor and it does have an onion in there i have some onions here to decide i want shopping for fourth of july but that's been on high for four hours i'm going to take out the chicken shred it put it back in and then we have some cream cheese to add in um to the crock pot and mix it up and it'll be like a creamier version of like a chicken chili so my husband's actually going to the store to grab some um toppings and yeah so that this is around the time i would typically do that that's what my afternoons look like especially in the summer i'm a little bit more laid back um, sometimes like in the summer and stuff like that, I'll use the grill a lot, things a lot along that nature, or I'll do like a one sheet pan dinner. I try to incorporate the crock pot at least one to two times a week, even in the summer. I know a lot of people traditionally think it's like a fall or winter thing, but it's very helpful in the summer. You just kind of set it and forget it and you can do what you have to do or get out and enjoy the weather. So I also wanted to quickly show um, some books that we got from the library today. We ended up going, typically what we like to do on Mondays, we'll do all of our chores and tasks we have to do, then head to the library. So we got Skeleton for dinner. We got Frozen 2. And these are like the steps into reading, even though he's not totally there yet, but we're getting there, you know. Um, we have Zoo Day. No Boring Stories. We have, I really want to see you, Grandma. A dog named Doug. Now, mind you, I've never read any of these. I kind of let him choose and do what he'd like when he's at the library. And I've got Big Bear, Small Mouse. So these books, you know, I let him choose. There's a huge section there for kids and stuff like that. He's allowed to kind of do his thing. He gets about 10, 15 minutes to go do that. Our library has lots of crafts and stuff, typically on Friday. So you go, there's a story that gets read. Um, you talk about it after and you do all these crafts. They also have take uh, home ones that you can do if you miss those events, which sometimes I do with him. So one of the ones that we did, um, which I was really excited for, she gave it to us, was this little stingray. And I love it. So, you know, came with all the cutouts, the little, um, like the toilet paper roll that's there. Basically, we glued it, colored it, and this was an arts and craft project that we got to do last Monday, and I have it hanging up, and it prompted conversations about the ocean. So just something fun to do if you have littles to be able to go to the library and kind of do that is so much fun. Um, but I'll check back in with you guys shortly. It'll either be at dinner time or right after dinner so that I can kind of reset and clean up the kitchen. 
So while I'm waiting for um, the dinner to kind of cook in the crock pot, I always kind of take a few minutes and see what I can do around the kitchen. I got these beautiful roses from my husband for my birthday, so I'm doing my best to kind of keep them alive. Roses are finicky, I feel like, so I do give them a trim every day and fresh water every day. And so far, they're lasting very nicely. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks for roses to kind of keep them alive. It's not something, you know, I grow in the garden all that often, so I do my best with them. So while I'm waiting for my husband to get home and the food to finish cooking, I'm going to go ahead and just clean my son's room. Um, I'm trying to get ahead of a few things. Obviously, the kitchen needs to be done before the 4th of July, but I typically will clean my son's room. FYI, I'm filming this on a Monday. On Monday, I'll clean all the bedrooms when he's home with me. It's a little bit more difficult, but I want to get as much as I can get done, change the sheets, dust everything, and also FYI, these are our new windows. I'm so excited. So they don't have that pattern there anymore. They feel great. They open like a dream. The screens aren't ripped on these. Um, in the guest bedroom, we have the new windows as well, and those didn't even have screens previously, and those windows were super drafty. So very, very blessed and excited to be able to have gotten those, but we're going to go ahead and get every Everything cleaned up. So starting off in my son's room, I am working on the ceiling fan. This gets dusty very often. Um, we run this a lot, even with the AC going. My son gets very hot at night, so I do my best to kind of keep him as cool as possible. I also had to change the sheets on this day, so I stripped the comforter, took the sheets off the bed, then really dusted all the furniture. I used a Swiffer duster. That's what works best for my family. I think it traps the dust and does a good job. I also have the Mrs. Myers cleaner. Um, let me know what wood cleaners you guys have out there for furniture that you like. Um, sometimes, you know, I think it does a great job, but sometimes I feel like it leaves a little bit of a film. You can kind of see it while I'm cleaning the headboard, but let me know what you guys use down below. So over on his nightstand, I keep it simple, it has his lamp, a photo of us, the little um, remote control for the fan, as well as some prayers. That little prayer card was mine when I was a kid, and it's something I do with him every single night, and it's a good way for him to learn it. We just 
So my husband just got home. We're going to be doing dinner in a few minutes, but I was able to finish my son's room. And again, is this a priority clean? It is to me. Um, I have other rooms I need to clean before the fourth, but just keeping with my actual schedule, this did not take that long to do. I did all my regular stuff. Just as an FYI, when they replaced the windows a couple of days ago, I actually did do um, wash the carpet, like with the carpet cleaner and stuff like that. Ridiculously dirty. Um, I did that pretty late at night. So this is actually really deep clean, believe it or not. I just did a quick vacuum. Um, to cover the last few days. But on to the next task, which is dinner. Blake is so cute. He's so cute. That cat is very cute. Mr. Burnham! Touch the trees, yep. Yeah. Oh, see? That's a butterfly bush, just FYI. The white one? No, the big purple one right there. Oh, wow. Very oh, pretty. Wow. Not everything is in bloom in my area quite yet, and unfortunately some of my flowers I lose to the bunnies. Um, like I planted these two here, and they did have blooms, as you guys can see, and it was eaten. So we will see, but I'm waiting for my glad um, the glads to kind of grow in. Salvia I have to kind of do. We just put down some mulch. I still need some more. I have the hostas doing their thing, and then my hydrangeas look perfect this year. They were a lot more purple in previous years, but we're getting a lot more blue. I did fertilize them last year with Hollytone, so this is what we're getting. And usually we come rest right over here right after we take our walk. It's tradition, spring, summer, fall. But just so you guys can kind of see what the flowers are looking like, um, one of the lads kind of fell over a little bit. We did have a storm, but I do have it staked in there, so... You know, if it starts looking too bent or anything like that, what I'll do is I'll just end up taking it as a cutting for um, a bouquet. But, and I also have the daylilies. Some of the hostas are starting to come out, so everything in the front looks good. I'll probably show you guys the back in a little bit, but that's what the front is looking like right now. So I can give you guys an update for the garden. I got a late start on everything this year. We created this beautiful little section here. It's gonna be the berry patch and hopefully better established. I planted my blueberries in the ground. I had one plant, two plants um, before I had any of this up and they got like gnawed down pretty badly by the rabbits. So I'll take this as a good sign. I'm getting a lot of green growth on there. Granted, I'm not getting any berries this year. This one's not looking as good. Let me know if anybody has any experience with blueberries and what you fertilize them with and all that good stuff. My raspberry one is taking off pretty nicely. This one also got, um, e oh great, I have a lovely little spider on there as you guys can see. Um, but he got eaten down pretty much to a stump as well. He came back nicely. This is where I'd like to do the strawberries um, eventually. I have to come in here and do some weeding, but I did put this stuff down to try and prevent it. And then I've got some weeds growing in between the onions. Really, I only had about four of them that took, maybe five. So we'll see. So here I've got a tomato plant that was technically killed by frost. I cut out the bad pieces, let it come back. My oregano is just completely crazy. I got to really chop that back. Another tomato plant, basil. My carrots did not do well. They were along the back, along with some flowers that got eaten. So I'm going to have to replant those because I've heard you can do them in the summer and then again my pumpkins that I plant is so super late and it's devastating to me you're gonna notice some of it's watered the neighbor has a sprinkler going on so sometimes it gets watered back here which is totally fine by me um two zucchini plants and then a pumpkin plant so again I might get some 
I may not, but we'll see what the summer brings. That's on me for getting a late start. So once I was done in the garden after our walk, and this is something we do pretty much every single night during the spring, the summer, the fall, usually not in the winter because it gets too cold, it's too icy, but we spend as much time outside as possible. And for me, I just love to be outside in the garden, whether it's flowers, vegetables, fruits, you name it. It just reminds me of my childhood growing up. I spent a lot of time with my abuelita and baba, as well as my vavon and vavu, just kind of being in the garden so it brings back good memories and i enjoy doing it so that is pretty much where you'll find me most of the summer um so while my husband and my son were outside i kind of took the opportunity came inside did the dishes that i really needed to do i got behind on dishes um put some of the food away i made this weight watchers chili that i mentioned earlier in the video and it came out really good um my husband doesn't really care for chili neither does my son um they ended up making like a burrito out of it which is totally fine but i really loved it and it was worth four points so definitely worth looking into um when i was done with the dishes you guys will see me wipe down the counters and i personally love to use the um pink stuff as well as the wayman's cleaner i think it does a great job if i'm ever in you know needing to disinfect something if i've been dealing with chicken or anything raw on the countertops I will use the Clorox and bleach spray wipe it down really good and then follow up with warm water So for day one, this is going to have to do. I'm home tomorrow my son's at daycare and at least the counters, everything's been disinfected, microwave, stove. I'm going to deep clean the sink tomorrow and I still have this section here. This is more just clutter and whatnot and stuff to be put away, but the rest of the kitchen will be done tomorrow and probably our bedroom and the downstairs bathroom and we will be in really good shape before the 4th. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys my son's room. I'm back in here again, and we're gonna actually turn down his room. And what I mean by this is he's getting ready to go take a bath and stuff like that. Um, so basically what ends up happening, I just get his room ready for him for when he's all set. So I'm gonna close down the windows. I'm sure you can hear him in the back with his dad because the two of them set each other off regardless whether they're playing or whatever. So you're gonna hear them. This gets kind of turned down and I just get his room set for him. I do my best to keep things as calm as possible for him, but sometimes that does not always happen at nighttime. Um, let me know what you guys do for your littles. Has your routine changed as they've gotten older? Obviously where he's older right now. Um, if some things have changed around, obviously I don't have to create over the toddler bed. I still won't show like his full nighttime routine on here, just for his privacy and stuff, but at least I kind of get to show you guys the routine that I take with him. So nighttime with my son is one of my favorite things, just kind of turning down and having that peace and quiet. And it's very low key, but I'm glad we've gotten him into a good routine as of late. It makes me really, really happy. 
Um, so for the next day, as you guys can see here, I wanted to give you a good look at what my mornings consist of and typically I get up pretty early. I will admit on this day, I was up much earlier than anticipated. So I was up at five in the morning. I just couldn't sleep. Um, that's the time I get up normally to go to work. But in the summer, I usually like to sleep until seven, maybe 7.30 on a good day, but I just couldn't sleep. So it was around 5.40 when I went downstairs, opened up the curtains, the shades, let some of that morning light in. And the first thing I like to do is make my coffee. So I use Nescafe or whatever I have available, whether it's a K-cup, etc. Um, and I am using my vital proteins here and just getting my morning started on the right foot. So typically for breakfast, I keep it very simple. You guys will see me uh, making a scrambled egg here, and that's my breakfast of choice. I usually have this with toast, whether it's avocado toast, plain toast. Um, if I'm not having some form of, a, of an egg, whether it's scrambled or like fried, you'll see me do a yogurt parfait. Um, so I do Greek yogurt topped with either raspberries, blueberries. Sometimes if I have chocolate chips on hand or granola, I'll do that. But that's my other breakfast of choice. So usually, in the mornings I like to take in the calm especially if I'm up before everybody so I'll open up the shades like you guys see me doing here and I just kind of sit without the TV especially in the summer and I'll just have my breakfast and have my coffee and just kind of be and it's just an amazing feeling to me to be at peace it is very much a blessing because I don't get this during my work year by any means I have the news on I'm ready to go um, it's just crazy and here you guys can see my son is now with me I like to get him sorted out before he goes off to daycare on the days that I'm going to be home by myself. Um, there's days he's at daycare so I can reserve his spot for pre-K. Also lets me catch up on things, but typically I get him started on breakfast. He loves yogurt. He loves cereal. And on this day, he chose a yogurt with muffins, so it worked out well. Alright, so I'm all dressed out of jammies. Um, you guys kind of saw a glimpse of my breakfast and my routine. I was up really early this morning, earlier than I typically am, so it was 5 a.m. when that was kind of being filmed, early 6 a.m. Um, my husband was just snoring up a storm. I love him, but he was snoring. I couldn't sleep. Combination of different factors, so I got to have a nice breakfast, got my son off to daycare, so I'm back at it. I'm going to be tackling my bedroom today. This is part of just my regular cleaning. Um, I still have my uh, priority areas I have to do for the 4th of July, but I want to kind of keep up with my schedule in general. So my son's room got done yesterday. I'm going to do my bedroom. My plan is to do my son's bathroom, the upstairs hallway, the downstairs bathroom, and the kitchen. So a lot still to get done, but I'm going to try and whip through it. I've been maintaining it, so it shouldn't be like it needs a deep clean or anything, but we're going to get it ready. So let's jump into it. rodeo written on my back window i've never tried this before i met you here we go into the wildness unknown you seem to shift what i thought that i Planets that I've never been. 
So our bedroom wasn't really that bad. I had a little bit of clutter there for my birthday and some things that I had not put away in the office as of yet from work. So I went and put that away and pretty much just dusting everything. Um, I've been trying to keep on top of the rooms the best I can uh, with maintenance cleans and it's a big help. So a maintenance clean to me sometimes is just dusting, doing a vacuum if I need to. If I'm doing a more in-depth clean, not necessarily a deep clean, I'll go in, um, vacuum, wash the floor, kind of get down, um, do the radiator there, or deep clean the windows, things like that. So today, my bedroom wasn't that bad, so I just did what I had to do to kind of, you know, get the dust out of there and kind of get it reset. So I did quite a few things off camera because I had to let my camera charge. Um, my son's bathroom is done, my bathroom is done. Um, I usually leave the shower piece to my husband, like I said. I've said it in um, previous videos, but some of the chemicals we use in there, sometimes the vinegar just doesn't cut it, I'm gonna be honest with you, because I have tried vinegar as of late, so much so I need to go shopping for more. Um, but we use like kaboom, things like that, and it needs to be well ventilated. So we usually have the fan going, the windows open, things like that, and my husband takes care of that for me. Plus he likes using that tool that we have now, the scrubber, it's like the automatic brush. It works really well, at least in my experience. I know some people on here do not like it at all. It does well for us, um, that's all I can say on that. But for him, he's gonna take care of that for me. So I got some of my kitchen done in the evening, the countertops being wiped down, disinfected. There's piles and piles of bread there and that's for the fourth. So I'm not hoarding bread. So Portuguese, it goes me to temps. Love bread, I do, but I'm not hoarding it, I promise. It is for the fourth of July. So we also have some peppers, corn, things over there that's for the next few days, that's why they're there. So my countertops look a smidgen cluttered, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna finish up by cleaning up the table, getting, you know, things vacuumed, the coffee center, wiping down the windows, and I can vacuum and wash the floor, and I'll be done. Because so I'm gonna be honest with you, I would love to divide the kitchen into two days more often. It makes my life a heck of a lot easier. Um, because most of the countertops were done and besides the dishes I had to do this morning from breakfast, honestly, all I had to do was the other half of the kitchen. So wiping down the windows because there's constant hand marks and smudges on there that I'm sure one day that I will miss because my son is growing so quickly. Um, and then for me, just wiping down the table. So usually I either have mats or a tablecloth on here. I opted not to this past week, but I wiped this down and. And I'm not sure I included the clip but I have these little home mats that I really love that I just put on um, the table and that will kind of you know be for the week from there I went to the coffee bar wiped that down again with the Mrs. Myers this isn't too dirty because again I've been keeping on top of it um, but yeah I just wiped it down from the dust and got that reset before going on to vacuum then wash the floors Some days I wish I had a relationship status Then I remember last time I ain't got time for that I have a job, it's actually quite fulfilling Though my headline is thinning I barely do anything else I read self help books I do meditation Walks in the woods A new destination
So after I was done mopping the floors, the kitchen was completed, which was a great feeling, especially with 4th of July looming. That was my big goal, right? Um, I took it upon myself. I had a little bit of extra time. I needed to get this hallway done. I hadn't dusted it in a while. Heck, I haven't even changed the sign. I had a 4th of July sign that I usually put up. So I went and did that, but I like having the entryway cleaned up as best I can because odds are if my family and friends aren't coming in through the backyard, if we're outside barbecuing, they're going to come through that front door. Um, so I want to make sure the entry way looks good it looks clean presentable so I was able to dust everything there and then I made my way to the bathroom and disinfected the sink and the toilet and then from there it just made life a lot easier I was able to just vacuum that whole section the hallway and the bathroom since it's kind of like connected and then I took my Swiffer mop and just did it that way I do switch between the Cedar spin mop and the Swiffer mop depending on how dirty everything is I didn't think the bathroom or the hallway was too too bad but it definitely needed some TLC so that's what I did Well, all right, my friends, this is bringing us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that everybody has an amazing 4th of July spent with your loved ones and however that looks like for you. I also appreciate you guys joining me in today's video because it was definitely a different style video. I don't put as much as my, of my home life and content in there anymore, so you guys got to see some of my family, some of my loves, which is the garden and things like that too, so it was fun to do. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.